On your screens, I repeat, on your screens, the video console makers, video game console makers, they're worried about the impact of tariffs. They've written a letter to the administration saying, please, let's get an exemption, please. We don't want these tariffs on us. Joining us now is Tian Huang. He is the host of Gamer World News Entertainment. All right, Tian, why do you think that Google is the winner in all of this? Tell me. Oh, okay, so this is very interesting. Um, first of all, Google is uh, Google doesn't manufacture consoles, and so they're very much interested in cloud gaming technology. And if you think about the effects of these tariffs, what they're going to end up doing is they're going to increase the barrier to entry for people who, to go into console gaming. And so if somebody is not going to be able to afford a new console this year, then it makes them more likely to experiment with new technologies like Google's cloud streaming service. I guess this just pushes everybody in, who want, does video games, it pushes them into the streaming side of the business and away from buying a console to play these games. Is that accurate? I suppose that would be the case. I mean, it does really depend on whether or not these tariffs go into effect after G20. If it does, then I do suspect that it would end up hastening the demise of console, console gaming because 96% of consoles are actually manufactured in China, and so those costs are going to get passed on to the consumers if those tariffs go into an effect. I, 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 some of our viewers may be wondering, why on earth is Varney droning on about video game consoles and streaming and all the rest of it? But I think we are. You can laugh, but, you know, I do this because no, very few people understand just how valuable the video game industry is. Chan, you're right in the middle of it. How much, how much is it valued at? I mean, are we talking $100 billion here? Right. So the the value that I saw last year, the revenue from the gaming industry was actually about one hundred and thirty four point five billion dollars. Oh. And when it comes to this trade war stuff in the letter that the video game console developers sent to the U.S. trade representative, they said that the revenue in the United States back in 2018 was around forty three billion dollars. It's a lot of money we're talking about here. OK, I'm sorry I didn't quite catch that, Tian, but uh, look, I'm afraid I'm out of time. I've got to get into something else here. But Tian Huang, thanks very much for joining us. Much obliged to you. Thank you very much. All right.